Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be doing more Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today's not going to be a super long video. Uh, this one is going to be pretty short. Um, to avoid making the previous video 30 minutes. I decided to leave this for its own video. So I'm not getting the chance to have it where somehow, even though my arena is set to private, I don't know how people are still joining it. You gotta figure out why that's happening. But... I had someone join a lobby, and uh, I don't really know who this person was or whatnot, but they joined my lobby and they were trolling me and the, and the rest of the gang, um, Daniel and, uh, and whatnot. I think my buddy Brody was also playing online, but I'm not sure. No, he wasn't because he was he wasn't there th th when this happened. But yeah, Daniel sent the spectator stands to give me the chance to um, to one v one this dude, and this is what happened. Notice he has a spirit, and I do not. Yeah, he was using really trolly custom stages, and was rocking the spirit team against non-spirited opponents. Since I don't quite know how or if you can kick people out of lobbies, I just dealt with it and then decided to um, see if I can get him to leave by by beating him in a one v one. Because typically, if you beat a spirited opponent in a one v one. They get. They don't want to continue to play if you do not have a spear on and you're able to still beat them. And as weird as that sounds, this guy was really being quite the troll. He played. I don't know if it was him or his buddy that had that joined too that did it, but they chose this one custom map that has it where wind pushes these walls inward, and you get the you get the room you get about as much room as there is on that circle in the center of the stage to maneuver. And they'll just rapid jab you against the wall and you're stuck permanently for the entirety of the match. They were doing trolley stages like that and then really, really whack job stages that are just chronologically insane to play on. I also earlier today uploaded a video, uh, even though I've done it before, I had the light on in the previous video. So I uploaded the video uh, replays, and the first three replays are, the, are three of the ones I showed in the previous video, but not all the ones I showed in the previous video uh, that had the light on. Uh, it is the 1v7, the 1v6, and 1v5 against the Amigos. And then the next following replays are replays against three buddies of mine, Carter, Daniel, and then this cool YouTuber guy I got to play with called Big Shramp. Really cool dude. He's a really interesting and really talented Smash Bros. YouTuber. But I linked, I'm going to be linking his channel and to the description below of the previous video and um, any videos that his clips of, are, are in, as in any clips or replays where I battle him. Same thing goes for my buddy Carter and or uh, as well as my buddy Daniel. Carter, though, has a YouTube channel that is, if you're into Friday Night, Friday Night Funkin', which is a pretty cool game. It's a music game. Uh, you would really like his channel. He makes custom songs, and they're some of the coolest custom songs I have ever seen for that game. Uh, and then Daniel, uh, or Green Slime Gaming, also makes content, but he makes primarily Terraria. And even though he just hasn't uploaded Smash Ultimate content that much, I don't, think, I don't know if he has, I don't think, I think he's gonna be uploading some soon, because he's got some of the same clips I have, and a few, a few of his own. That he, uh, that he needs to upload because they're really cool. Uh, that's going to be happening. Uh, but, um, yeah. He has some Rivals of Ether content, Terraria content, so I'll be linking his video. And he, link in him in the, in, you know, description below anytime his videos or any clips of me battling him in this game in replay of footage is used. And the same thing goes for Carter and the Big Shram. But, yeah. Anyway, as you can see... I actually had the pleasure of pulling off a really difficult feat in this game. It's difficult to normally three-stalk an opponent to begin with. By this point, though, 
in this in this battle. I'm you know, it, I was had so much nerves racking at that moment that I sort of just said YOLO and bam, there you have it. A three stock against a spirited opponent, spiritless, um, at 291. By far, that is the most impressive three stock of my entirety of, of playing Smash. Um, honestly. That was one of the hardest things I got to do, um, and whatnot. But yeah, thank you for tuning in, checking out this short video. Um, very much, thank you very much. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful and splendid day. Peace out.